Hey guys, so I feel like I have an, I have an issue that I need you to address. Um, I'm posting this to YouTube because I feel that it's very, very, very important to me. So, you know how there's, like, there's tons and tons and tons of eating disorders out there, right? Well, my eating disorder is, like, there is no diagnosis for it because it's, like, nobody ever diagnosed me with anything for it, but, but it's, like, my brain a part of my brain doesn't register to, to my body you know that is full like 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 eat like, I had roast beef a couple of days ago, and uh, 15 minutes later, it's like I felt starving again. Like, and then I got sick this morning, and I had to roll up, I threw up bile. Um, and that wasn't too long after I had a big thing of waffles. There was nothing in my stomach, surprisingly, even though I just had breakfast this morning. There was nothing, nothing in my stomach at all when I got sick. So, yeah, everything in my body is just disintegrating for some reason. Um, because... That wasn't too long after when I had um my waffles this morning. Um I I do feel full, but I just don't stay full. My brain feels full, but after like 10 minutes or 15 minutes or something it's like There's nothing in my stomach anymore. Like, and, and then I feel really sick because I'm really starving. Like, you know, it, I'm really, really, really starving. Not. Nah. So, yeah. And I'm visiting my mom now and I can't even enjoy an outing with her. Without, you know, saying, hey, it's lunchtime. After when I just get in the door of a grocery store or something. Like, we were out at Walmart the other day. And I literally just got in the door. The Walmart was like, you know, what time is, is it time for lunch yet? Or what the, you know, be, because I'm feeling like I'm starving. Like, I feel really sick to my stomach, you know. And so I haven't been doing much at my mom's or even with my dad in North Bay. I haven't been wanting to do much because I just I just can't enjoy an outing with my mom or my dad without, you know, having to eat something. Like it's it's stupid, it's ridiculous. You know, and I am on Ozempic. I am on Ozempic, and because it's only point five milligrams, is plateaued now. So I'm going up to one milligram, but. 
I feel like what I have is an eating disorder. You know, because I grew up in my childhood like this. The, the, the exact same stuff that I'm feeling now. I grew up like that. You know? You know? And I remember when I was in grade two. I felt. That was the very first time I felt that urge. I vaguely remember being in grade two. And then, and then that was. Pardon me. When I started to feel. That feeling of not staying full for, for that long, you know? And now I'm 31 years old, you know? So, and I'm still struggling with that issue. So, And it's stupid and I hate it because every time I feel like I have to eat something, it's always either junk or something that not very healthy, you know? I can't control that. And and then, of course, I gain weight because I'm not doing anything, right? Because I don't feel like I can. So, but when I go into that starvation mode, I constantly, my brain constantly craves either cookies or something unhealthy, right? But when I am on a medication for appetite, I am fine. I'm fine, you know? I don't eat near as much as I used. I don't eat near as much, you know, because I'm that type of person that I don't eat if I'm full, right? If I'm full, I'm full. I don't eat unless I have to, right? So, yeah. So, but when I'm not on medication, you know, to help me with that, like, I think I need to be on a specific medication that can help with that eating disorder that, that I have. Because... I'm telling you, it's not a choice. It's not a choice because if I was choosing to do it, I, yeah, sure, I wouldn't want to admit it, but at least if I did, I can fix it. At least if I did, I can just start to eat better if I put my mind to it, but my brain doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. You know? Trust me, I have tried. My mom and dad both have tried. And, you know, something about my brain doesn't... It, it doesn't... It doesn't allow my body it doesn't my brain doesn't register to my body that it had food so when i got sick this morning there was nothing in there just nothing in my stomach at all even after i just had my waffles and if you think that's strange that is strange i'll give you that and i don't blame you if you guys don't believe me because you know even though I grew up like that, I can't even believe myself, you know? Sometimes it's like, 
you know, when that happens, it's like, Somebody who lies and lies and lies all the time to the point where they believe their own lies. They believe in that their own lies they're telling is actually the truth. So, and that's what is like when I throw up bile after, like, 10 minutes or... 15 minutes after, I just ate. It's like, seriously. It's like, no, there is no way, you know? Because my mom asked me this morning, like, where did those waffles go? It's like, I have no idea. I have no idea. Like, they just disintegrated, they're just gone. Just like that. And that shouldn't... That's not normal. Like... Because a person has a lot of intestines in their stomach. Right? So normally... A person stays full for longer periods of time. Because... Their food like slowly digests in their stomach. So it allows them to not be hungry till like breakfast until lunch. And then maybe lunch until like a snack this afternoon. Like an early snack or something or, you know. And then supper until like the next morning or something. Like, but... If I'm not on something that can help my brain to register that it's full, to register to my body that you had food, you can't you can't have any more, then then it's like. No, you you can't you can't, I can't control that, and it's sad. It's a sad reality. But apparently, I'm not the only one who goes through this. You know, maybe people experience the same things that I do, but maybe their cravings are different. You know, maybe some people crave like different things, like. Some people with my my issues may crave ice or um I know people that are low on iron crave ice, but but a lot of people that are like me, that their brain don't tell their body that, that they're full even after their day is eight, you know? Like, you know, like they feel full, but they just don't they don't you're constantly starving again, like Five or ten minutes, right? And I can't be the only one out there that experiences that. I thought I was. But when I talked to somebody about it, it, she's like, no, I'm not the only one. Because I'm, I'm currently in, apparently going out with this lady. Her name is Amy. She works with my psychiatrist in that. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, she's like, no, I'm not the only one that, that, that is like that. And I was shocked. I was like, woo. Like, I was shocked because I thought, If I was the only one, if not very few people. So, but she knew, she knows exactly what I'm talking about. Because she said there's a lot of people that she has met in the past or even currently that that has the same similar issues. You know? So, 
where they can't control their cravings. You know, they can't control, you know, so, so yeah, it's, it's, it's not good, you know, for, for me and I struggle with it every day. It affects my everyday life and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I honestly feel like. I just want to die like I just don't want to be here anymore because I gain weight and I can't enjoy my life without going, stepping into a store and then feeling like I need to eat or, you know, going away from the table after when I just ate and feeling like I have to eat something else, you know, even after I just, you know, ate. It's stupid. And, you know, so lately I just, just feel like my world is crashing down again. You know, I just, I don't feel myself. I don't feel... My happy, outgoing, you know, positive self. I feel like my life is shitty, you know. And it, you know. Trust me, I wish this was a choice that I was making. Because at least a choice, at least somebody makes that conscious choice to eat like like that. At least they can make the conscious effort to change it, you know. But I can't. I can't. And so I honestly wish sometimes I wasn't even here, you know. I I wish I wasn't even alive sometimes. Like... Sometimes I feel my life is crawling with spiders and dune bugs and stuff that really is gross. Stuff that really you don't like. I feel like that's all my life is. It's just... A bunch of like... Being in the world where all these spiders are crawling up my wall, you know, and that's, that's how bad my life sucks, you know, or, or cockroaches or, or on my bedside table and, you know, You know, it's like, gross. You know, my life feels like that. And it's not enjoyable. You know. And so, can you really blame me for every single flippin' issue? That I have in my life. You know. I mean. When somebody says something like that. It's strange as it sounds. And it's unbelievable. I know that. Because even I can't grasp that. I can't grasp that in my mind. And I am going through that. And I don't, I don't think I'll be able to grasp that in my own mind. And I'm the one who's experiencing it, you know. But a lot of issues I have that happens, it's like, there's no way. If you can't grasp that from the outside looking in, how can I grasp it? 
you know, I can tell you about it, but it's like, it's, it's just it's so ridiculous that Like, for example, um, um, if, if, for example, this is going through me personally, right? You know, with that little boy, you cried wolf, right? Um, okay, so. Let's just say I went up to that window over there. Looked out the door. Looked out the window and saw, you know, a husky going down the road, you know? Or... Or a coyote coming in our yard, you know? Can't really say a wolf because, you know, we don't have wolves here. So, I'm going to have to improvise to the closest thing to a wolf. And that's either a husky or a coyote, you know? Um, fox, maybe. Um, even though they are smaller animals. Then a wolf, it's still the same thing. You know, it's still in the dog family, right? Um, um, then I said, oh, look, I see a wolf. Or, or I see a, see like this husky going on the road, you know? It's just walking by itself, you know? And somebody comes and it's like, I don't see it. Where is it? And it's like, oh, look, it's going down the road, you know? Right? Right, um, they do eventually see it, and it is there, strangely enough, you know it it's there, you know, it's just way up the road and by then, you know, but that is me, you know, that is me, you know. But for somebody else, it's like, they see a husky, but it may not be there at all. It may be just them wanting attention. Well, with me though, it's like, that husky's gone way, way, way up the road. So you don't see it right away until it's in the distance. It's like in, in the far distance, you know? Right? It's not where though it's not where it was before. So But for somebody else, it's like it was never there. They're just telling a lie. You know, so so lots of people may think, well, I'm the little girl who cried wolf or something, or you know. Early Hoppins is crying wolf here and but she's not. It's just 
It's just that husky is not where, where it was before, right? So what I'm trying to say is that um, um, every issue that, that I have, like me with my eating disorder, it wasn't always there. I didn't always have that issue. But I was very young when it started. I was in grade two, I believe. Right? I was very young when it started. And very, very, very young. I'm 31 now. So that's what I meant by that. It's like everything that I see or happens, everything that That happens in my life is like it's way, 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 way out there. You know? That's what I meant to say. That's what I meant to say about by the husky. It's way, 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 way out there. Like, you know, that's what I was getting out with the husky. And uh, you know, it's like you know. It's like, yeah, it's gone. I don't see it anymore. You know? I, got, I, I have a hard time believing it was just right outside the do right, out, right on our lawn there. Because it's like way, 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 way out down the road. Well, when people were, look at this video, they would say, wow. You know? Now that is extreme. That is way out there. You know. It's. It's not like. It's like. It's almost like it's it's way out there, like it's way gone, like my like my mind can't grasp that. It's totally gone. It's going, it's going, going, gone. Like it's it's stupid. Like and I and I get that. Like I can't even comprehend myself. I can't even fathom. And I lived like this since I was in since I was very, 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 very little. Like, I wasn't born with this problem. This problem happened. Like, probably two or three years before I was born. After I was born. Not before. After. So, yeah, I don't think I was in my stomach for, I don't think of my mom, I don't think I was in my mom's stomach for two or three years. So do not, yeah, that that was just a, a brain fart. So, yeah, it was two or three years after I, I was born. So, yeah, that's when that happened. Because I, I can, can remember, I can picture like in my mind about where I was and what I was doing and, but I can't remember a whole detail of what I was doing. But I do remember sitting in the class and then all of a sudden I felt that. I felt like that starvation and, you know, it just. And it just continued on and on and on over the years. Um. I just, I don't know what's causing it. And I would love to know whether it's unbelievable or not, you know. Whether nobody can fathom it or 
they say, yeah, I have the same similar issues. And, you know, trust me, I wish this was a lie. I honestly wish it was a lie so bad that I actually believed it. I can't. I wish I was lying about this right now. I wish I was not telling the truth, you know? Because knowing that this is actually what I'm experiencing would hurt more than if I was lying about it, you know? But it's like, why would somebody lie about something like this? Who can ever make up a 31-minute whole story about it? Like, that would take a lot of effort and a lot of thinking, right? Especially to experience what I'm experiencing. I know a lot of people have made up dozens of lies that seem reality, but... Nothing can to compare with what, what I'm going through. You know, even the serial liars would, would not even believe this if they heard this. When I'm po when I posting when I'm done posting this to YouTube, I can't even believe. I don't even think a person that lies and you know I don't even think that a person like Sarah Jane Bergenson or you know would believe something like that would believe something like this you know it's not good you know I can't like a person that goes around and you know, makes it their life to lie and gain attention for greed or friendship or, you know. It's like, this would be just extreme to them, you know. So I don't even think a person that is an, is an accomplished liar would even think this is true. Mm -hmm. you can only make up so many lies but then when a person tells you something like this it's like yeah right so yeah it's but that's my reality it's like it's like it's stupid you know and I hate it I hate my reality it's like my whole life, you know, <laughs> my whole life should have been a lie, you know, you know, it's like who would ever, who would ever be born the way I was, who would ever have the issues that I have, you know, who else is born out there with Autism disorder and a rare chromosome disorder. A chromosome 10Q disorder. Who else out there is born with that? Probably not very many, you know. And, and who else is born with the eating disorder that I have on top of those issues? Not very many, I can tell you that. So, yeah. I don't expect to be believed, but I just thought I would get it out there because I thought it was important for me to share that. Okay?